Hello, my friends. Happy fourth line day. I'm back with another transit in our exploration of the Maya. It's a right angle cross of penetration day again. And you can see the sun is in gate 51, the arousing, the gate of shock, where our personality expression and life force is bringing some energy for limitation. The fourth line here reads Uranus exalted, a pure inventiveness and sometimes genius to find some opportunity even in the midst of the most devastating shocks the warrior ego that will find some way to answer the challenge and mercury detriments this line a reasoned make do mentality that is ineffectual in times of severe shock the superficial ego that lacks the resources and depth to answer challenges and you can see that we are being grounded today again in the gate of the gentle intuitive clarity and in this grounding and balance we find our fourth line here is called the director venus exalts this line the mastery of relationships that through clarity can maximize productivity while the sensitivity to interrelationships will ensure harmony. The possible intuitive clarity to master relationships. And Mars detriments this line. A tendency given this position to be dictatorial rather than directorial. With the gift of clarity to master relationships, the possibility of being intuitively dictatorial. Now you can hear when you compare the contrast, these two fourth lines, the friendship or not, the kindness or meanness, you could say. Remember, that's what these fourth lines are all about. Now we have another fourth line here when it comes to our Mercury communication and thinking. 42 is the gate of growth. This is the gate of increase. And the fourth line reads the middleman. Moon exalts, the quintessential manifestation of the mediator, the maturity to bring growth through mediation. Venus detriments this line, where the gift to establish and maintain relationships is ill-suited in this position to act in mediation where harmony must take a back seat to pragmatism. In other words, a lack of maturity where the power to harmonize distorts mediation and limits growth. Now, Mercury is bringing a level of us being able to finish experiences or end cycles that perhaps are time to be complete. This is one of the format energies and can bring a level of feeling like you're cycling through experiences. I like to think of it as spiraling rather than spinning my wheels. Now, the reason I wanted to highlight that is because we also have multiple activations inside of the emotional system that are abstract, which this gate is as well. Abstract is part of the sensing circuit. And you can see that we've got Mars, which is our energy dynamics and immature energy dynamic in the gate of fate. This is the clinging fire, the gate of feelings, and it's in the first line of composure. So we're learning about balance in the face of disorder. Sun exalts this line, the maximization of limitation in all cases, stability through feelings, no matter what the situation, Jupiter detriments this line, the ability to maintain composure, but at the expense of progress, balanced through feelings, but unable to let go of them. So if you're feeling touchy and nervous, you can see we have a lot of potential activations here. Saturn still hanging out in that fifth line. We have abundance, strictly a question of spirit here, where Venus is giving us her energy for innocence. And the two conjunctions that I wanted to mention are the Jupiter in gate 36, as well as the Neptune in gate 36. You can see Jupiter is in the first line. 
36 is the darkening of the light, the gate of crisis. So Jupiter is bringing in some force of law or protection. In the first line, Jupiter detriments this line, so it reads, an over-principled resistance, that rather than being selective in resistance, and thus less at risk, will maintain normal patterns and incur opposition. In other words, a resistance to change that will always bring crisis. And where we have Neptune conjunct here, Neptune being about our illusion, spirituality, transcendence, bringing some potential misinformation, it's in the second line of support. And it reads that assistance to others in times of decline is what we're learning about here. Neptune exalted reads the application of imagination to schemes which benefit others, feelings that can benefit others in times of crisis. So you can hear that there is some repeating patterns about crisis in our transit and it's no wonder we can feel that all around all kinds of things now this might be kind of hidden but bring still this potential potential awareness and then possible expression of awareness of this crisis and these fears of what may or may not happen and fears of inadequacy when it comes to making progress when it comes to experiencing some new adventure some sharing of some experience or maybe even a fear of emotional or sexual inadequacy so if you're feeling touchy nervous like you have to hide or lie remember to come back home to your own personal authority and face your fears as is correct for you to live in integrity with your being now there's one more place I want to mention today before we put a pause in our conversation. And that is that Uranus moved from gate 24 into gate two, which is the receptive, the gate of the direction of the self. Receptivity as the primal base through which any response is determined. Here is the root of action. If you know your human design body graph, you know that this is the home of the magnetic monopole which holds us in our life, on our path, and in our trajectory, whether or not you have a planet actually activating this gate. So let's go read what Uranus does to this first line. Uranus, our unusualness, chaos, and innovation, our wacky weirdness and eccentricity, where we might have sudden lightning fast moves maybe in a new direction the first line reads intuition and we're learning about sensitivity to disharmony and atrophy here venus exalts this line the importance of aesthetics whether inborn or acquired higher knowing through aesthetics and mars detriments this line the assertion of ego in spite of wisdom the urge for action that will ignore the wisdom of the higher self. Now in this view, you can see how our kite is progressing. We still have the majority of the planets way far away from where our Earth is. So all of this energy meeting into, grounding into our Earth. And it's important to remember with this many, with this many format energies and how individual this particular transit is and all of the emotionalities that are there and all of these potential triggerings of our collective fears. It's important to remember to come back to your own process of personal authority because it won't steer you wrong. And even though you might enter into something that feels like a challenge or painful or hard, Remember that you have everything inside of you to make the right decision at the right time by trusting your body, following the body, your body knows best.